Okay, so the broadcast has started. So I'm Jeff, and this is the other person there is Reg, Reg King. Want to say hello, Reg? Hello, everyone. <laughs> and Reg has asked me a question that he's uh, got his phone, and um, he's used uh, WhatsApp on the phone, and also uh, I, you said Messenger. I assume you mean Facebook Messenger, and people have sent you photos uh, on both those products. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct, Jeff. Uh, uh, Messenger is uh, uh, that icon there. Okay. I couldn't see it close enough there, but anyway. Um, so, um, oh, yeah, a little bit closer, yeah. Uh, all right. Just just show us again, Reg, so I make sure I, well, I'm looking at the right one. I'll just switch over to you. Hold that up to the screen again. Uh, okay, uh, uh, there's five, five messen uh, messages in Messenger. Uh, which one's Messenger? I, it's not focusing very well. It's too close. Uh, Take it back a whack a little bit, back away a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, Messenger, is that the one there? Okay. Are they, are they messages? Is that messenger yeah. or messages? The, uh, they're indicating the number of messages. Yeah, but what's the prompt underneath the green box? Is this, I think it says messages. Yeah, me messaging. Messaging, okay. Jim. Okay. Well, messaging is um, uh, where you receive SMS messages. Yes, okay. uh, and uh, also photos. And, yeah, okay. uh, yeah, people can send photos as well. Okay. Well, to do that, I'm not sure where it's actually going to be storing the photos. Um, I know with um, with uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp creates a new folder on your on your phone, which stores the messages uh, in a WhatsApp folder, uh, the photos in a WhatsApp folder. But with your messages on your phone, the SMS messages, uh, I think it, I don't know where it stores it. So what we might have to do is go into each message and actually save the photo. But anyway, we can look at that in a minute. So um, it's just one other thing, Reg. Um, just have a quick drink if it's all right. <laughs> it's hot. Sure. I'll, I'll go and get the uh, connection to the computer. The cable. Okay. No worries. If you have anyone's watching, fast forward now to where Reg comes back with the cable. <laughs> okay. Uh, I better get this link while I think of it. Yes. You want to talk to me? Margaret? You want to talk to me? I'll just mute the microphone for a minute. Oh, Reg is coming back. Hold on. Can I just hold on just a second, Reg? I'll just mute the microphone and think for a second. Okay. Okay, my voice is back and my photo's back again. Okay, all right. Yes. Um, so what we'll do, um, what what we might do to start with, if you got uh, if you got Wi-Fi in the house there, have you? Uh, yes. Okay. If you still got that app on your phone, which I put on your phone some time ago, which is called, um, let's have a look at it. Um, it's called HTTP screen, screen Stream. HTTP Screen Stream on your phone. No, uh, I haven't got that app. Uh, it might be if you if you know how to look at all all your apps on your phone, where you've got the the six dots on your phone. No. Yeah, bottom, on your main screen, there'll be 
probably in the middle six dots. And if you touch that, it'll give you a list of all the apps that are on your phone. All right. Um, possibly go into settings and. Uh... Well, that's, that's not in settings. No, there'll be a there'll be on your main screen. There will be a button somewhere. If you want to look up at mine, I'll look at my screen. Yep. All right. See in the middle there. Uh, that one there. Six buttons. At the bottom there. There's all those. those oh, six buttons. Six little dots. Have a look at these pictures. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time was talking to me. She <laughs> said, have a look at these pictures. I don't know what that was all. Anyway, so have you got a, a, a little icon like that? No. You haven't. Okay. Um, can you just put your screen up to the screen again and I'll have a look at what's on your main screen? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, just hold it up again, Reg, a little bit longer again. A little bit. Can you hold it up again, Reg? I need to see the bottom of the screen, not the top, the bottom. Okay. I don't know which screen you're on, but if you swipe sideways, it should show you other apps. Can you see other apps? I, no. I no, I can't see other apps, Jim. Okay, all right, doesn't matter. Because I know we, we did do it. You haven't got a new phone since we last did anything, have you? Uh, well, this is a relative, relatively new phone, uh, about a couple of years old. Okay. I, I remember you know, only a while ago we used it and we, we did some training and I showed you how to use the how to in, uh, install this HTTP screen save. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do now, um, we'll do it this way then. What you need to do is get the cable and plug it into the um, plug it into your the bottom of your phone where you normally how you normally would charge it. Okay. Yep. Okay, done that. And now yes. plug the other end of the cable, uh, it, the USB part of it, into a USB port on your computer. Okay. I'll, I'll see if there's one in the front of this computer. Yeah, that should work. Okay. There we are. It has worked because I heard it go bip, 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 bip. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> now what I'll get you to do, you know how to do uh, screen sharing, Reg? No. Remember, we've, we've done this before. Okay. If you go to your computer, use your mouse, go to your computer, all right, and uh, on your computer, uh, you need to point uh, the pointer over the top left-hand side of the screen. And a little green box will appear. Yes, desktop. Okay. Desktop? No, no, I should say screensaver. Screen share. Oh, did you click on it, did you? No, no, I, I, I didn't click on it. Just move um, the mouse pointer over to the left hand side of the screen where my photo is, where you've got this full screen, and it should come up and say screen share. A little green box. There'll be other things. Yeah. One's a little yeah. green box. You can see the little. Click on the little green box. Okay. And once you've done that, all right, it'll come up and say, "Share your screen." A window says, "Share your screen," or something like that. Uh, Chrome wants to share the contents of your screen with Hangouts. Choose what you'd like to share. Uh, mm -hmm. Your entire screen or yep. share? Yeah, your entire screen is what we, we want, okay? And then down the bottom, there's a box that says share. So click yeah. on that share box, okay? Click on that. Yeah. And there you are. You've done it, and you're now screen, seeing your screen, and I'm now seeing you, seeing me on your screen. Okay, not a problem. Right.
Okay, so you're sharing your screen. Now, what we need to do, Reg, is go and uh, because you've plugged your phone in, uh, the yeah. phone will be part of File Manager. So down on the bottom of your screen, there's a little yellow icon. Uh, if you move the mouse pointer down to the bottom of your screen and move it around, that's it. Now, there's the start bar about four across. There's a little yellow box which says should put the pointer. Just point at it. Don't don't click on it. Just point at it. About four um, or five across. There's the E for uh, for um, Internet Explorer. It's to the right of that little yellow one. Keep oh. going. That one there. Put it there. What's it say when you put it there? File Explorer. That's what we want. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Click on it. Yep. Right. Now that's opening up your File Explorer. Now just to hold on a second, I'm just going to make your screen bigger on my screen so I can see it better. Uh, no minus. That's better. I can see better now. Okay. Now, I'm down on the left-hand side though, somewhere. Uh, it should say, yes, notice on the left-hand side, you've got at the top on, on all the panel on the left-hand side, you've got a thing that says um, uh, OneDrive, this PC, desktop, etc. In the blue, little blue icons, you see them? Desktop, uh, this PC, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, further down, it's got one that says ZTE Blade 610. Now, that's obviously, it looks like an icon to the left of that, which is actually the icon of your mobile phone. Exactly. Right, yeah. So, if you'd like to click on, point the pointer on that and click on it. Uh, ZTE Blade A610. Yep, click on that. Okay. Okay. And it's currently saying this folder is empty. All right. Now, the reason that's happening is because on your phone, and this is where I can't see your phone, on your phone, you need uh, to swipe down from the top of your phone and there'll be something that says on your phone, uh, allow it to, you, you need to swipe down from the top. You need to have your phone on, your phone screen on. Yes. You swipe down on your phone and there'll be something when you do, after you do do that, uh, or say something to the effect, um, you know, um, I forget the wording. It, Most of the time, you want effect as a verb, meaning to influence something in effect for the something that was influenced. <laughs> you press, <laughs> I don't know what that was. But anyway, you swipe down from the top again uh, so you can see extra things from the top. Yes, yes, I've done that. Okay, what does it say there then? Uh, Optus, uh, Bluetooth, do not disturb, LD Mobile, flight okay. mode. No, well, swipe back up again to get rid of it again. Swipe up so you've got the main screen on the screen again. Okay? All right, done that. So you've only got the, the main screen up. Yes. Now swipe down once from the top again. Is there any messages there? uh only whatsapp messages whatsapp messages that doesn't say anything else uh, no um okay all right uh, so what we might have to do is unplug your unplug that cable from the the phone and then plug it in again on the phone rather than the computer and unplug it okay Yes. Right. Now plug it back in again. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, does anything come up on the phone? Yes. Uh, well, the, the screen is uh, uh, coming up with uh, icons. Yeah, but is it saying, is there any message that says something to the effect of... Um, you know, powering the phone or sharing files or something. Uh, miss call, update, check of VPN, unable to connect. Okay, listen, we're on the... Well, I have to look at the screen, so 
we'll have to stop the file sharing, all right? So if you go on, yeah. and I'll have to look at your phone again. So if you go up to the top left hand, oh, see it uh, in the middle of your screen, it says stop sharing. Down the bottom, sorry, it says stop sharing. If you'd like to click on that. No, in the middle, over in the middle, the, the white area in the middle of oh, the bottom yeah. there, yeah. where it says stop sharing. Click on that. Yeah. Okay, now hold your phone up with the cable connected and let me see what's on the first screen, what screen you're at. Okay. All right. So you're in the, the – so what you need to do is swipe down from the top so you'll get a uh, – uh, swipe down. That's right. That's it. Hold it there. Yeah. Now, what's that message? When you, you, I think you let it go again, Reg. What does it say? Let, hold it up so I can see what it's saying. It says a uh, family on WhatsApp, eight, uh, eight messages. That's all it says. Okay. Yes. So it, take your finger away. I, I, what, yeah, uh, okay. Um, I need to try. Uh, if you swipe it down again, it's not going to give what you want. So you need to do it again. Unplug the phone. Unplug the cable from the Ooh. phone. Sorry. Plug it in again. Okay. Yep. Now, once again, is there any messages on? Uh, there's nothing on this. No messages popped up when you did that and you plugged it in? No. Uh, um, just uh, family update checker, missed call, uh, app update checker, VPN able to connect, your daily weather forecast. No, no, no. They're all the icons, are they? No, that that's what I bring down. Okay, hold up, hold. It's it's very blurry, Reg. Can you hold it flatter to the camera? That's better. Now back away a little bit. Take it back a little bit. Okay, what's the one? There's probably more down the bottom of that. You need to swipe up again on that one. There's more, and there'll be something that says something about. US, US, um, USB sharing or something. USB for charging. Yes. That's the one. What's it say? Touch for more options. Please touch it. Okay. Yeah, I've done it. Now, what's it saying now? File transfers, photo transfers. We, want, we want file transfers. Touch file transfers. Okay, and it's done it. Good, right. Okay, now it's now you'll uh, if if you'd like to please go to your computer uh, up to your computer again, all right, and yes. uh, click do that file sharing thing again for me. Go up the top left hand side. Screen share. Screen share. Yep, entire screen, and then share. Okay, right out. And now again, go across down the bottom to the little yellow one, which is the file manager. Yep. That's it. Click on that. Okay. Now, once again, click on where it says ZTE Blade 610. Click that. Yes. And there we are. Now, uh -huh. just by the way, so this is why it happens. So if anybody is watching and they have the same sort of situation, if you plug in a phone, what, what, just to explain what it's for, when you plug in a phone, um, you, you can plug in your phone to somebody else's computer to charge it, right? But somebody yes. might be on, on that computer or and actually want to access all your files. So they make it so it comes up with this other, other screen that says, do you want to, you know, charge your phone or do you want to um, download photos or do you want to download files? So we want to... Photos, files, the same thing. I, you could have selected photos, but I prefer to do it with the files way. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what, that you'll notice it's come up with two two little entries. One is internal storage, and the other one is, what's it say? Lexa. Lexa SD XT. card. Okay. So the XT card is an external card that you've got on your, on your phone, and usually when you're using WhatsApp or, and definitely when you're doing SMS messages, they'll all be on the internal storage. So if you just like to point at the external storage and click on it. 
the one that says internal storage and click on it. And click again. You might have to double click. There we are. Okay, now it's coming up with all the folders that are on your internal storage on your phone. And you'll notice one of them there in the left-hand column, the, the last yellow one on the left-hand column says WhatsApp. So if you click on that, can you see it there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, click on that. Okay. And there you'll see it says, what's it say? It says database, thumbs, media, six items. It's probably in media. So if you click on media, and under media, we've got lots of WhatsApp image, WhatsApp notes, WhatsApp, WhatsApp profile photos, WhatsApp audio, WhatsApp documents, WhatsApp video. So you probably want WhatsApp images, I'd imagine. So try clicking on that one. And there we are. We've only got two images. All right. Yes, yeah, that, that's about right. Okay, I thought I thought you're going to have a lot, Reg. <laughs> okay, we've only got two. All right. <laughs> okay, well, two is better than nothing. All right. So we've got two. So do you know how? Can you remember when we've done this sort of thing before? How you can multi-select? So we select both those images so we can copy them. Uh, no, no, I don't, Jeff. Okay. Well, if you click on the the first one. Now click over yeah. the one on the right-hand side, click on that one. When you click on that, the first one disappears. If you go yes. back, if you leave that one that one on there and you hold the shift key down while you click on the one to the left of that, the shift key on the keyboard, hold the shift key down and click on the one to the left. Uh, the shift on your keyboard. On the on the not the on the computer's keyboard. Hold the shift key down and press on the one on the left. Uh, what about control? No. Well, control will do it, but I, if you did control, would only do the one. Haven't you got a shift key on your keyboard? No, I, I don't seem to have a shift key. Um, oh, key the key that normally puts it into in the capitals when you hold it down does it in capitals. It's a big okay. key, the left of the Z key. Capital lock? Not cap lock, it's the one below that. It might just oh, have right. a warning arrow. Yes, it okay. has an arrow. Okay, all right. Just hold that key down, and while you hold that key down, press on the one to the left. There we are. Oh, now right. you notice that both of them are marked. Okay? Yes. So that's, by the way, just so you know, um, some keyboard, I, meant, I, meant, I said the shift key, it's actually not, I didn't realise some of them are not marked shift. I'm looking at another key. Oh, keyboard, that one's marked shift. Depends on the keyboard, I suppose. Now, point at either of them, point at either of them and right-click. Point at, make sure you're on the blue of either, pointing at either of those two items and press the right mouse button. No, sorry, you did oh. it wrong, Reg. In fact, you've done something oh. else. You clicked on it. You left-clicked on it. <laughs> And that's gone to the photo, which isn't what we want to do. Close that window. Okay. okay. Right. Now, once again, you're going to have to select the one on the left, shift and select. Okay. Now, now point at it and right click. Point at any either one of them and right click. Right. And notice it comes up with this menu. We want to copy, so go down to copy. Okay, where do you want to put it on your computer? In photos, in pictures? Uh, yeah, I, uh, perhaps um, I'll have a uh, file in pictures. Yeah, okay. For it. Okay, so click on pictures on the left there. A new folder? Yeah, you better create a new folder, yep. And. Um, uh, already got new folder down the bottom there, so you can give that a different name. You can say, you know, photos from WhatsApp or something like that. Um. Okay. 
Now click yeah. on the folder, click on that. If you wanted to go in that folder, if you wanted to go, you have to click on it or double click, I think, perhaps. Uh, left hand. Uh, left, left hand click. Yeah. I always tell you if it's going to be a right click. Okay. And that folder is empty now. Okay. Just leaving yeah. where the mouse is pointing there. If you right click now, right click and yes. go up paste. Click on paste. Left click. Yep. And there we are. It comes across, and there's the two photos. And they're now copied, and they're now on your phone and also on your computer. There's a copy of them there. Okay. Yes. So that, that was the WhatsApp one. That was relatively easily done. Okay. The so hard part is going to be getting the ones that are on on the messages. All right. Because right. one of the things is I'm not going to be able to see your phone while we're doing this. All right. It'd be a lot easier to see your phone screen. Okay. Uh, I suggest uh, next Thursday or next Tuesday. Uh, I, I won't be around, Reg, because I'm going over to I'm going down to Tassie for for, for three three or four weeks. So it won't be for about another month. But okay, all right. But if you um, and it's going to be difficult because I said I can't see your screen. All right. Well, that part of it's done anyway. We'll learn how to do it in Messenger, but we won't be able to do it in. Um, uh, Unless you, what you well, well, that, WhatsApp, that that uh, those photos were in WhatsApp. That's right. Uh, now we need to uh, bring the photos across from Messenger. No, not Messenger. Messages. Uh, the messages. That's right. Okay. Well, before you can do that, what you've got to do on your phone, you've actually. We can't take because it's stored in a uh, an area that we can't see on the phone. For example, if you go back to where, under where you got pictures, there go back to um, L Z T E Blade, which is your, your oh you've unplugged it. No, you haven't. Uh, no. no, it's all right. It's come back again. Double click, click on it again, which is your phone. Yes. Okay, and you go to internal storage there. Double click on that. Yes. Now there's nothing there that says messages because messages don't get stored. You know, it's in a hid, hidden, a hidden area of your phone that you normally can't see. Okay. Oh. So what you've got to do is copy it out of messages into a particular area. But what you do have, let's have a look. So you've got on the third column across one that says DCIM. Yes. Okay, we'll go up to that. They're the digital camera. They're the ones, the photos that have been taken on your phone yes. using the camera. If you double click on that, and there's one there that says camera. If you click double, double click. Camera, yep. And there's some, there's some photos that you have taken on your phone. Now, do you have a yes. copy of all them on your computer? No. Do you want a copy on your computer? Yes. Okay. Right. So what you do, um, if you just click on any one of the photos, just click on any one. Just not double click, just one click. Okay, that's selected. Okay. What you can do is you can do the same thing we did before. You can hold the shift key down and click on the last one, but an even easier way, if you hold the control key down, the CTRL key down now, and you press yes. once and once only the A key, control A. A, A key? A for alpha, yeah. Control A. There we are. They're all selected now. Ooh. A lot easier, <laughs> all right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter how many of them. In fact, it tells me on the left, if you look on the left-hand side there, uh, it actually says you've got 108 items and 108 items have been selected. So it's a lot easier. That right down the bottom, underneath the list there, so you can oh, see yes. 108 yeah. items being selected. Okay. So once again, put the pointer on any, any, any of the ones that are blue. Put the pointer on it, but don't click. Only put the pointer on it. Now right-click. And go to copy. Go up to copy. Okay, now you go need to go to back to your photos again on your on your on the left hand side on your computer. Go up to pictures. Sorry, pictures. 
you follow oh, it? Yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, yeah. And you can say photos uh, taken on phone or something like that. And yeah, that'll do. Okay. Yes. Once you've done that, double click on it so you go into that. Yes. So how do you think you would get them on into here now? What do you have to do? What what, what did we do last time? Can you remember? Uh, right click. Yep. And what did you do then? And paste. Yep. And this time it's going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> it's not going to take too long. Look, the bar's going across pretty quick. Yeah. So there we are. It's copying all the photos from your phone uh, to the thing. Now, as I said, they're only photos on the phone. They're not yeah. photos that anybody has uh, message to you. They will not yeah. be in that area. They're in another area again, all right? And to be able to see that, I'd have to see your phone screen so we could go into the messages, look at the photos, and copy them to somewhere else, all right? Right, uh, Jeff. Uh, how do I get rid of those photos on the phone now? Okay. Well, the easiest well, you can do it a number of ways, but the, probably the easiest way is just to click back on the phone on the left hand side there. Uh, on the phone? Yeah. Where on the on the on the still on your computer? Click the phone icon. That's right. Click on where it says internal storage again. Okay, click on DCIM, click on camera, okay, they've all come yes. up, okay, uh, we want to select them all, so hold down the control key and press A again. Okay, and this time you just press the delete key on the keyboard. Or you can right click on any photo and there'll be a delete option. There should be a delete option. Okay, so I press delete now and they'll all go. It, it, it'll probably come up and ask you if you want to delete them. Should do. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these 108 items? And I'll say yes. Okay, all right. Yep. And they've deleted them in the phone as well. Yep. Okay. So under in camera, it's all wiped out. So now that you can do that. As a precautionary measure, if I were you, if you've got a portable hard drive, Reg. Yes. I, like, like, I would then also copy those photos from the computer in pictures to your portable hard drive. So you've got two copies of them. So that, at, that, yeah. at the moment, if your computer was to pack in, you've lost all those photos. Uh, absolutely. Uh, thanks, Jeff. I'll okay. do that later. Okay. Um, the only other thing is uh, I'm sure there must be that app on your phone that says um, we, we, we can share your phone screen on this screen so I can see your phone screen. Um, if there isn't, we could always install it again anyway, I imagine. Do you want yeah. to do that? Yes. Uh, have you got time? Yeah, I've got the time. I've got all the time in the world. Oh, okay. I've got, uh, I've got a lot of time, not all the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's have a look. Um, so on your phone, uh, we'll just have another quick look for it again. Just sw um, what I'll do, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, you, you can uh, you you can't you're looking at that screen. Go back to we'll sh leave that screen on. No, we don't need to do that. You can probably close that window you got there now. Just that one here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's back to me. Um, I'll just change my screen back a little bit. Hold on a second. 
Okay. All right. Um, you can see me. Okay. You can see on my uh, on my screen. There it is. And if you can see that, um, there's an icon. I'll put my finger on it. It looks like that. There we are. See that one there? Yes. I can okay. see that. So I want you to swipe across all your screens on your phone and see if you can see an icon that says that HTTP. I don't think I have it, Jeff. Well, swipe um, across. I, uh, I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay. All right. Do you have one that looks like this? Then having a look at this one, point at it. Which, where are we? It says Play Store. See that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I in my body. So. The one there that says Play Store. Hang on, Jim. I'm just connecting VPN. Connecting VPN? Yeah. You don't have to do that. <laughs> no. Uh, Play Store. You've got one Play called Play Store. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and I'm in Google Play. Okay. Righto. If you're in there, up the top, it'll say Google Play. So what yep. you need to do, what was the name of that program again? It was called uh, HTTP Screen Share. So up the top where it says Google Play, you need to type, you do to touch that, right? Okay. And type yeah. in HTTP screen, uh, what was it called again? HTTP screen stream, screen, S-C-R-E-E-N space stream, screen stream. Uh, looking around my. Oops, I went into it. I didn't want to do that. Uh, place to HTTP screen S C R E E N screen S C R E E stream stream S T R E A M screen. Sorry. T Oh. HTTP stream screen S T R E A stream S T R E A M space screen. Yeah, yeah it's brought up the icon and screen screen stream over HTTP, and it's by and Dimitri. And I cannot pronounce his surname. Kar Kar Kariv Oroshiko. <laughs> I think he's Russian. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's brought up the icon like yours. Uh, screen stream over HTTP. Oh, Dmitry Kivokurochoko. Uh, pronounce it for me, Reg. Go on. <laughs> Can you pronounce it? Kurochoko or something. I'm blown if I know. Dimitri, how's that, Jeff? Okay, yeah. I've just, we, we, we are really crappy at uh, pronouncing Russian names, aren't we, Rich? <laughs> okay. Well, they have such uh, uh, long names, don't they? And they all sound foreign to us. That's right. Install. Uh, yes, you can click on install. All right. Oh, what have I done? So, it, is it coming up doing something else now? Oh, I think. Tell you what we'll do now, Reg. If you go back to the computer. 
and you can sh sh uh, go down to the bottom in the middle of the, the bottom there. It says stop sharing. Yeah. That way I can sh then you can hold up your phone and I can have a look at what it's saying. Stop sharing. Um, well, I've uh, uh, hit something else and. Uh no, just, or do the stop sharing first, and then I can look at the screen. Okay. Stop sharing. Yep. Okay. Now, if you hold your phone up to the camera, I can see what's on the screen. Okay. Unfortunately, it's a really, really blurred image, and I can't see it. That's why we're trying to do this, so I can can see your screen. Um, uh, well, if you, I haven't got the uh, icon on my screen yet. Yeah, yeah but yes. it might still be installing, or it may be doing something else. Is up at the top of your screen? Is there a little downward pointing arrow that's flashing as it's coming yeah. down? Yes. There is. Yeah. That means it's, it's downloading. Down. All right. That means is it still flashing down? No. It's stopped. Stopped. Okay. Eventually, it might come up with a message to say, you know, open the application or something like that. Screen stream. Uh, I've got it. Oh, hang on. Now you went into calendar then. <laughs> Very easy to touch something else, isn't it? Uh. Oh, you've got it on the top of your screen. Okay, touch it now then. Touch that to start it. Okay. Now, once it's started, hold it up to the screen and let's have a look what it looks like. Still all blurry. I can't make it out. Can you read it out to me? I can't make it out. Can you read sure. it out? Device address, uh, HTTP, so-and-so numbers, end device, does it, does it say start streaming? Start, uh, uh, start is down the bottom. Start stream. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what you need to do now is touch where it says, um, well, first of all, you need to make a note of those numbers. It will say HTTP colon double forward slash, and then it will probably say 192.168.1 and then some other numbers. What? Yeah, uh, it's um, 192.168.0. Seven and semicolon eight zero eight zero. Okay, so you, you need to write that number down, all right? Because you're going to need it. Okay. One nine two dot one six eight dot eight dot seven dot. No, that last one's not a dot. It's a colon and then eight zero eight zero. Eight, 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 and HTTP. We don't need the HTTP. Don't worry about that. That's assumed. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. what, you, what you do now is uh, you need to. Um, so you just leave that on your thing. Uh, um, uh, and what you need to do is go and screen share your game with me. All right. So on the okay. computer, you need to screen share again. So go to that little green box on the left-hand side and screen share. Tire screen. You need to move the mouse. That's it. It's come up. Good. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Now, um, what we need to do is go into your browser, which you're already in, and... Uh, and uh, I will explain which key to which thing to do that in. in. Uh, I just control minus. Is it minus? 
Okay, that's it. That'll do. Okay, now down on the bot what down on the bottom, which which one's your browser? Have you got it? You're in Google Chrome. So click on the Chrome icon down at the bottom of the screen. Right. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. Now go up to the, the top of the screen, right up the top with the blue, and you've got you know you've got good you've got training opportunities, grand play, you've got Google Hangout, and then you've got a little plus beside that. That's to add a new tab. We want to add a new tab. So click on the plus right at the top of your screen. Move your mouse pointer up. No, you've gone to the desktop. That's it. Where are we? I can't see your mouse pointer. Move your mouse around a bit. Reg, I can't see where it is. Oh, there you are. You're on the left hand side. Go up to the top. Right up the top to the blue bar. That's it. Right up the top of the blue bar. Now higher, not the green bar, the blue one. See where it says the on the left hand side of that training opportunity at grand plaza yeah no no to yeah just move to slightly to the left and there's a plus to the to no you've gone too far over to the right where the blue is where the plus is that's how you open a new tab so click on that okay you've opened the new tab right up now what you need to do now is type in that number in the address bar that you've got there not exactly as you had it. So you type in 192. 192. Full yep. stop. Yep. 168. Full stop. Yep. Zero. Yes. Oops. Full stop. Seven. Full stop. No, you know, uh, Reg, you've. I don't know what you've done, but you've, you've typed something else in there and it's gone. You must have hit enter at some stage, something like that. So you have to start it again. So up the see where it's, you, you, it's in a Google search and you don't want to do it in that. Click up the top again. No, right at the, no, not there. Right up the top where it says HTTP. Click up there. No, not the plus. With the next line down where you've got all that writing. No, the next, that's it. Click there. Click once. Right, now start typing 192 again. Uh, no. Do I remember? No, just start. Press the one. You don't click down there. No, you've clicked off it again. You need to click up at the address bar where it says HTTP. Click there. Now press press the one on the on your keyboard. Uh, but do I remove? Uh, no, I don't the... remove that one. Just leave it there. It doesn't matter. Just type the one. And all that blue bar will disappear and the one will appear there. That's right, 192. Keep going. One six eight, that's right. Full stop zero. Into the no, you put an O, Reg. Backspace that. That's not a zero. That's an O. I can see it from here. Backspace that out. It's a zero, zero, not a, an O. All right. Now colon, colon. You know where the colon is on the keyboard? You have to hold uh, the. Shift. I need to put in a full stop after a zero. No, it's not a. It's not a full stop. It's a, it's a, oh, sorry, zero, sorry, my full stop seven. Yeah, my apologies. Full stop seven. And now, a uh, colon, now a colon, full colon, yeah. and then 8080. Oh, oh. Okay. Now press enter, the enter key on the keyboard. Okay. Now it comes up with the thing. Now on your phone, where it says to do it, press. There's, if you go back to your phone, that'll be, as long as the screen hasn't gone off, you'll say to say um, there's the start button. Should, there'll be that program there. You press the button at the bottom. It says start. Permission required. Screen stream application requires screencast permission to capture screen. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah.
Yeah, is it saying okay on the on the? On, 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 can you see that application on your phone still? Yes. And does it say there's a start button somewhere that says start somewhere on the phone? No. It must say start somewhere. Are you in the application? Uh, connected clients one, traffic zero point or stop zero zero megabytes. Pin is disabled. Reading from the bottom up. Okay, there must be something. There's a button that says start somewhere, I'm sure. Start? Yeah, press start. Screen stream will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. Start now? Yes. There we are. <laughs> If you look up at your computer now, you can see that your phone screen is now displayed on your computer screen. And I can see it. That the whole reason we're doing this is so I can see it. And I can see a photo. Uh -huh. Is that in New Zealand? Uh, no, it's just a photo, Jeff. I oh, okay. don't know. I don't know where it is. Okay. All right. Good. So now, that, now, now you can operate your phone and I can see your phone here because... Your phone screen is being repeated on your computer screen. And your computer screen is being shared with me. All right. Now, yes. the other thing is um, we can probably make it bigger. Um, I don't know how. Anyway, that's probably good enough to start with anyway. We could probably make it bigger, but anyway. All right. So uh, what you need to do, Reg, is on your phone. By the way, those, yes. remember those six buttons I mentioned, or the, actually one, two, three, yeah, six buttons. And notice in the middle of the screen there? Yes. The That's the six buttons. That's what I was talking about. All right? Okay. All right, so where's your, your Messenger app? So if you slide across on your phone, slide across to from there we are, and there's the Messenger one that's got six messages in it, right? So if you yes. touch the one that says Messaging, And there's some messages come up. And some of them have obviously got photos attached to them, are they? Like that one there. Yes. Photo thing. Okay. Actually, that's not a photo. That's a video. Uh, this is a photo, I think. Uh, the one at the top's a photo. The one with the, the thing's a video. Okay. Yeah, that's a photo. Or a yep. couple of photos. All right. Okay, so we'll have to see how and there. Notice it's got MMS. That stands for Multimedia System. Now, what we're going to have to do is get these photos into something else on the phone so we can copy it across, okay? So I don't know how this works. So that's, just hold your finger on that first photo that says below where it says page one. Hold your finger on it and see what happens. Comes bigger, okay? Hold your finger on that photo and see what happens. <laughs> it comes wider. Okay, right. Oh, no, I, I widened it. Oh, you widened it. Okay, right. No yeah. Now just hold your, hold your finger on the photo. See what anything else happens. Nothing is happening. Okay, now nah, something happened. Look what happened. A little menu popped up. No, nah, do, touch, do that again. Whatever you did, do it again. Hold your finger on the photo. Yeah, I saw the, uh, the thing that drop down. Thing popped up, yeah, it's disappearing. Just hold your finger and then take your finger off for a while. That might do it. I don't know. No. Hold your, take your finger off and put your finger on again. Yeah, I've taken it off and put it on again. Nothing's happening. Okay. All right. Um all right, just swipe, 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 swiping it left or right and see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay, I can see a little thing indicating a swiping left or right. Okay. Um, all right, just press your finger, touch it, just touch it quickly and see what happens, the photo. Nothing happens. Okay. 
do you know where the back button is on your phone? You go over the back button, go back again. That's it. You've gone back. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll try. Uh, listen, we might try it this way. See what says MMS there, and over to the right, there's the three three but three uh, dots. Touch them. Touch them. Yeah, touch that. Uh, uh, no, hey. no, I can see what it's. You don't listen. By the way, you don't have to read it out for me, Reg, because I can see that all is happening. So we don't want to do okay. that. Okay. So we don't want to do that's no good. We don't want to play it as a slideshow. We actually want to be able to save the photo. All right. Try touching the photo again then. Just touch the photo. Touch it again. Do a long press on the photo. There. Okay. Now, ah, and then it disappeared. But yeah. we did it three dots for a second there, and then it disappeared again. Touch, see if you yeah. can touch it again and get the three dots to come up. There we are. Yeah. Now touch the three dots. Touch those three dots. Nothing happened. Oh, yes. oh, it did there. There we are. Okay, it says set picture as or print. No, we don't want to do any of those. <laughs> okay. We want to save the photos. We don't want to print it or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. This is becoming difficult. All right. All right. Let's try some other ways. Um, just to, uh, no one's ever sent me a photo, I don't think. I'll look up the micro. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, well, let's just try a couple of other things. Just go back with the back button on the phone. Okay. Go. You notice there's an arrow to the left of MMS. Press that arrow. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just a matter of interest, the one that says, um, now go back up to that, those photos again. Ah. Ah, see where it says save attachment? Yes. Let's try that. Touch that. Okay. One selected, okay. T tap on OK. So it says cancel on OK. Touch the OK. Uh, it's, uh, I've touched it and it's brought up um, the photo with a number. Yeah, I can, you... as I said, Rich, I can see everything you can see. It's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Touch to the left of the photo, there's a little box. Touch that box, yes. that's got a tick in it. To the left of the, the, the icon of the photo, there's a little square box. Just touch that. Ah, now it's got a tick in it. Now click on OK. Now click on OK up the t uh, on, the, on the green up at the top of the right, just below the time. Okay, and oh, something appeared there for a second. I don't know what it was, but it did appear. Okay, so mm -hmm. all right, okay, that's it. We've, we've, we've saved that one. We've got to find out where it's saved it to next. <laughs> all right, Scro um, do, do, do um, a similar sort of let's try it for the next photo, next lot of photos. Okay, that's that one again. Touch, um. Well, we've actually gone into the file. I think you need to go back one, Rich. Go back with the left, the left arrow. With the, with the, with the sorry, the, the back arrow to the left of there. Uh, back again. Oh, back. Again, one more time. Now, see that little where it's got MMS and it's got an arrow to the left there. That's it. Now, with that there, notice it's got all those things there. It's got attachment. T touch, see the paper clip one, touch the paper clip and see what that does. Capture video, video, capture video, audio recorder, video, slideshow, content. No, I think that's for attaching a new message to what we're already, do what we're already doing. Okay, no. press the back button on the phone. 
that's not that's attaching a photo to a new message okay so that's not going to work try the, the three buttons to the right of that paper clip click on that the three dots message details from normally okay that's not well how did we get to the point where it said um what's the name before we probably haven't touched the photo you've probably probably just got to touch the photo lightly so it's it, it's highlighted but don't do a, a, a long press on it so just go back with the back button on the phone okay now we're doing the, the which one are we wanting to do the one that's got uh what is it uh, 3 17 p.m the one that's ticked is that the one you want to do reg yes yeah as i said just touch the green part of the photo not the the bit that's got the play button on it just touch the green part no it came up like that again okay don't know how we got that other one up last time it's the trouble with phones so you know things this is what we call um gestures and they're all different types of gestures you just touch things one way it does one thing another way it does another thing see where it's got right. eddie rock and it's got um a um eddie Rowe, whatever his name is and it's got a a little a little box with a little three bars on it try touching that uh it just brings up his number yeah, his number. Okay. Go back with the back button then. Okay. All right. Um, somehow we got it to come up with the thing to, to save the attachment. Don't know how we did it. Um, all right. Try, um, just go, scroll to a different photo, Reg. See if you've got another lot of photos. Scroll down the screen. Okay. There's other photos come up. All right. Um, or well, you've actually touched the photo, so go back. Go back with the back. See the one that says it says MMS, and there's an arrow pointing to the left there. Yeah. Click on that. Click on that arrow. Touch the arrow. So I meant to say click. Touch the arrow. That yep. one. Okay. Now somehow there's some way of touching this, so another menu pops up. I don't know how it's going to do it, but it, we've done it once. <laughs> I don't know how to do it with it with the rest of them. I don't know. Touch it, touch it again somehow. Touch different the edges of the photo. Try touching the edges of the photo, not the photo itself. Now it goes the message details. Go by the back button. Okay. Just try different ways of touch. Just try sliding your finger over the, the photo, s swiping it over the photo. And what happened then? No, I just went into the photos. Okay, just try swiping over one of those photos. No, and that's you're touching it. I don't want you to touch. Swipe over the photos. No, it's not how to do it. You know, you're swiping up, Reg. Try left or right. No, it won't move. No, okay. It's definitely from that first screen. So touch that left arrow to the left of MMS again. Okay. Um, let, I just thought of something. It's actually got some text there. Try touching the text where it says, thanks very much, Eddie. No. Okay. Go back with a back button. Try doing a long press on it. Ah, here we go. No. No, that's just going to copy the text. It's not. That's not. We had one before that said save attachment. So there's some way of it comes up that says save the attachment. You want to hold on for a second, Reg, and I'll quickly look it up on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I'll, I'll go downstairs and get myself a drink. Okay, no problems. And I'll look it up Thank on the internet. You. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking up on the internet now. Um, uh, save photos in SMS messages. Okay. So what the Mr. Google's what to say. Open the text conversation with the image and the message itself. Locate the image you want to save. Tap and hold the image until options appear. Tap save. Okay, that's the way it says to do it. All right, so I'll wait till Reg comes back. So I'll just show everybody that screen. Okay, it's Reg's screen at the moment. I'm sharing. Okay. All right, control minus. King. Okay, go to that. Go to my screen. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. The entire screen. Share. Okay. So this is how to do it. A quick, whoop, no, I didn't want to do that. Go back one. This is how to do it. How to save all pic how to save all pictures from messages on Facebook. All right, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. How to save whoops, going back here. Back Reg. Yeah. If you notice Just on my screen on my if you look at your on your computer there, you can see I've actually sharing my screen and it's saying Oh, how to save photos from text messages on iPhone. I don't want to do it on an iPhone. How to save messages in SMS messages of what Android, A-N-D-R-O-I-D. So it means what it says there. Save message, MMS messages on Android phone. Tap the message app and open the MMS message threads that contain photos. Tap and hold on the photo until you see a menu at the top of the screen. From the menu, tap the save attachment. So you have to actually, it says, tap and hold on the photo until you see a menu at the top of the screen, okay? From the menu, tap such and such. Okay, so I'm going to stop screen sharing now. Come back to me. Okay. All right. Okay, go back to you, Reg. All right, there's the screen there. So it seems that what you've got to do is tap and hold it and then a message comes up, Reg. You there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tapping. Um, and ho hold your finger on it. Okay. Now, go to those three dots and see what that does. No, nah, you've got to hold your finger on it until those three dots still appear. And I don't think this is the right screen still. Hold your finger and then, then take your finger off. No, nah, that's not how to do it. Okay, go back with the back button on the phone to you've got where you've got the messages on the screen. Okay, no, back one more time. Okay, now where you've got the photo, hold your finger on the on the photo. Don't press it. Hold your finger on it. Ah, there we are. That's what you have to do. Notice you hold your finger for a while, then you take your finger off. Notice that now it says save attachment. Yes. Right? So go yes. touch save attachment. No, you, you, you missed it. You went to the one below that, right? Okay. So you have to hold your finger on it again. No, you've gone in too far. Come back to that, that original screen. Back one. Back again. Okay, back one more time. Okay, hold your finger on that on the photo at the top. No, you just went into it. Okay, you've you've slid up off the photo. Go to where you got that photo. That one again. 
Okay. Hold your finger on it. Hold your finger on it. And now take your finger off. No, nah, I don't know what's the difference, but you're doing it somehow differently. You must be moving your finger when you're taking your finger off. So go back with the back button again. Hold your finger on right in the middle of the photo. Hold your finger there. Now take your finger off. No. I don't know what's happening, Reg, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I, and I, I can't actually see you doing it. This is a disadvantage. I can structure what to do, but I can't see what you're physically doing. All right? So go Come back on. one more time. Go back. The back button on the phone hold your finger on the photo and then take your finger off now you moved your finger when you did it that time okay hold your finger on it and then take it off no it brings up the photos yes i know what's supposed to happen you, you, I think you know. I think I don't know. It's the time you're holding it, or whatever. You might be holding it too long. Go back with the back button again, so you can see that previous screen. Hold your fit. Just press it for a little while and release it. No, it's gone into it again. Don't know why. You did it before and it worked. I don't know what the difference is. All right. Okay. Uh, back button. Back with that, the back. That, that one we did uh, a while ago. That one, yeah, uh, it's a single one, and oh, these, uh, these are uh, uh, multiple. Very, ones. Uh, yeah, multiple photos. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll just have one more go. Try the photo below it. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Try the next photo down, the one that's multiple. Touch that. No, you you just touched it. You, 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 you touch it and let it, you've got to hold it and let it go. Hold your finger on it and then let it go. But don't move your finger when you hold it. No, didn't work. I can, no, go back again. Okay. Hold your finger on it without moving your finger and let it go. It no. just brings up the photos. Photos, yeah. Sometimes it does, but the one, the other time we did it, you you actually pressed it and it um it came up with that other that other menu, all right? Came well, up. With what, what if we press the photo? Uh, uh, the we did that before. It didn't do anything, Reg. You can try. No, just comes up with that. Just comes up with a bigger photo. And if you press that and does it, it still doesn't do anything. All right. Okay. This is the trouble with phones. You see, they're called gestures, and you've got to use the gesture exactly the right way. You maybe have to hold it on for half a second, or three quarters of a second, whatever. I don't know. But when you do it, it does it. It works because we've done it a couple of times. It has worked. Um, this yeah, time yeah. We're doing it doesn't work, but it only works from that first screen where you've got that, the list of all the photos, right? The, the, the one with the little triangle on it. So go back to that again. Back again. And back again. Back there. It's definitely from that screen. Somewhere you press somewhere on that photo, but you can't just press it once you, quickly. You've got to hold your finger on it and let it go. So, shall we try a, a message? No, if you hold it on the message itself, it just copies the, it once it gives you the ability to copy the text of the message. It has to be on the photo. Okay. All right. And it may not be in the where you're pressing the photo, the middle of the photo, the edge of the photo, what? Uh, on the V, um, the triangle. Try touching it just off the triangle. Still on the photo, but not on the triangle. Hold your finger on it and take it off. No, it doesn't do anything. 
Okay. Okay. When I hold it in the center, it brings up these other photos. Okay. Well, you can't do it from there. I know we definitely can't do it from there. Okay. All right. All right. Just go back, back to that original one where you got the triangle. And you need to press it and release it go. Press it and let it go. The, the uh, original one or this Any one? one? Any one, doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Just, just, bring some... just, just, just bear with you one sec. Go back to that one where you got the triangle. Um, All right. Okay. I, the, hold keep put your finger on it and leave your finger and count to three One, count it out two. to me. now as you're doing that you're moving it reg i can see you're moving it okay all right take your finger off okay can you press your finger again and count to three touch it and count to three count to three for me One, two, three. finger off no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You definitely held your finger on for while you're counting, did you? Yes. Yeah, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know why that, that's happening, Rich. I don't know why it's doing it sometimes and other times. I'd have to. I, I don't know why. I, 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 that's the disadvantage of doing this remotely. If I was there, we have to do it another day when we're together. All right. So yeah, what? Yeah. What we will do, though. What we will do is. Um, um, uh find where those where it's put those photos on the phone now so let's see if we can find out where it's put the photos on the phone so go back with the the, the back button on the phone and go or press even press the home button on the phone you know which is the home button to get you there yeah, that's right now you haven't got a file manager program there have you uh, uh, what uh, a file manager? manager program that's that's to tell you where all the files are on your phone We'll find out if you have. You know, see the one at the, the to the uh, in the middle at the bottom with the, the six dots. Touch yes. that. Touch that. That brings oh, up that, a, that brings up a list of all the apps you've got stored on your phone, right? Now, if yes. you slide up, they're in alphabetical order. We're looking for ah, there's one. We go. I already gone past it. So, for, called file manager. See the one at the top that says File Manager? Yes. Uh, touch that. Okay. So touch the one that says Internal Storage. Okay. These are all the folders. Remember when we we're looking at the folders on your computer? We're now actually yeah. looking them on the phone itself. Okay. So yes. you've got... Documents, it might be in downloads. Touch the one that says download. Ah, that looks like that photo, that one that we did do. Touch it and we'll have a look at the photo. Touch that photo, the one that says 542. Open with gallery, just say just once. <laughs> <laughs> It was that photo, okay. Wasn't a yeah. very good photo, was it? <laughs> no, no, I don't know why that, he sent that to me. Uh, oh, okay, all right. But all I'm saying is, what you can I, that that was a photo that someone sent to you. Well, all I'm saying is, when you go to the messages and we work out how to get it from the messages into a uh, thing, it puts it in a folder called download, and this is how, where you find it. And if we connected the cable up to your computer, we could copy that photo to your computer, just like we copied the previous ones, right? Okay. Okay, just go back with your phone again. Go back on the back button. Okay, back, back again. Yeah, go back again one more time. Let's see what else we've got there. Uh, downloaded, edited online photos. Okay, scroll. Just can you scroll that screen up? There's more below that. Pictures, podcasts, records, ringtones, WhatsApp. Okay, that's it. All right, and that's all there is in internal storage. 
and that's the only one we got across, isn't it? Yes. So that's how we would do it. We'd have to copy them, and they all will go into downloads, and then we copy them from downloads to, to there. But we at the moment, we can't get it to do it. But we, yeah, we're getting partly there anyway. All right. Yeah. Just by the way, if you want to... Um, um, you can sw uh, switch off that program that's on your um, phone now that's putting, making it come up onto your screen. I'll show you how to do that. If on your, on your phone, uh, if you just come out of this program and go back to the, the main menu, press the home button or whatever, okay? One more. That's it. Up to t If you swipe down from the top. Okay. Uh, and notice it's got that thing that says stream. No, it, it, it was down there, it's up the top. It says stream. scroll stream over. Successfully installed. No, there's another one. Scroll back down again. Scroll further down. USB for transfer? No, 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 no. no. It's further up, Reg. You have to swipe downwards. There we are, straight at the one that the, the second one for the top says stream. It says yeah. press stop to end stream. Now, the stop is the little red block box to the right there. If you do that, that will stop streaming. So, if you touch that, there we are, it stopped the stream. Okay, if you look on your computer now, you'll notice it says press start on your device. It's gone back to that screen. Okay, so there we are. I'm out of that. All right. All right, um, we've done a little bit. We've, we've worked out a few things to do. It's taken us an, an hour or so to do all this. doesn't really matter. Um, the advantage is now you've got that program on your phone, and if anything you want to do on your phone, I can see what's happening on your phone as well now. So it's well worthwhile, handy, keeping that, that program on your phone. Okay? All yes, right? uh, and there's no hurry. Uh, um uh, when you come back, uh, we'll have another go at it. Uh, yeah, okay. But the main thing is you've got all the other photos on the screen there. Okay. Yeah. If you just want to go yeah. over to the, over to the uh, uh, up to where it says Google Hangouts there and click that, up the to, up the, right up the top, it says Google Hangouts. Right. I need to put my glasses on, Jeff. <laughs> I know we're okay. good. And... Uh, don't, no, don't, close, don't close it. Don't close it yet. Don't close it. Just click on it. There, click there. That's right. And that brings it back so you can see me, all right? Okay, yes. and we want to stop your screen sharing. Notice down the bottom it says stop screen sharing, stop sharing. You can click yes. on that, and I'll be able to see you again. There we are. Back to your camera. All right. Okay, so I'll click that off. So no one talking, I come back and you come back. So there we are. We've actually worked out how to get the. There is a way of getting the what the WhatsApp were very easy. All we did was copy it, connect the cable up, and copy it across. The yeah. um, the message ones were a lot more difficult because you have to hold your finger down on the photos, and it comes up and it says save at you know save it. Uh, save attachment and that's what you've got to do but the only thing is we couldn't work out how to hold your finger down to save the attachment we'll look at that a little yeah. bit later another time perhaps okay yeah. that's it for now we'll stop the broadcast you can say goodbye to everybody that's looking if there's any anybody's watching this as a, a recording uh, there's nobody watching at the moment but we'll stop the broadcast and i'll send you i'll send you the link to um and an email to if you want to watch all this again you can do that, all right, because it's all been recorded. It's a bit much in it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'll just stop. say goodbye to everybody and I'll stop the broadcast. Uh, okay, Jeff, uh, and you have a nice time in Tasmania. Okay, will do. I'll stop the broadcast.